The US history began with the Spaniard from the middle Spain named Salvador Luz. He was a soldier who enlisted in one of the ships of the formidable Spanish Armada between the late 1870s and early 1880s. While stationed in Cuba, which was then a Spanish colony, Salvador Luz joined an unsuccessful mutiny for this offense. He, together with two other mutineers, was banished to the Islas Filipinas. Salvador was exiled to Iligan, while the other two, according to stories handed down to us, were exiled in Islamist Occidental and the third probably in Zamboanga of Islamist Oriental. In Iligan, Salvador acquired a piece of land which he planted to corn, bananas, vegetables, and root crops. He eventually married a local maiden that crossed his roving eyes by the name of Leoncia Luisma Tabor. Thus, on June 16, 1888, or 131 years ago, wedding bells rang for Salvador and Leoncia. This is the very beginning, the first nucleus of the Salvador Luz, Leoncia Luis Matamora clan. From that time, 131 years hence, our clan has flourished and grown. Our family is spreading many branches, spanning three, four, five generations. Coincidentally, the date of the start of the Luz clan in the merits of Salvador and Leoncia on June 16, 1888, is also the start, the birthday of Iligan as a chartered city on June 16, 1915. <laughs> From this union of Salvador and Leoncia, or Lola Ama, to all the youths, seven children were born. His children gave rise to the seven branches that now compose the youth clan of Iligan. The seven children in the order of birth are first Victor Luz, second Isabel, nicknamed Bobby, who married Cirilo Gilman Rodriguez, third Gregorio, nicknamed Corio, fourth Salvador, nicknamed Padron or Tata, fifth Rosa, nicknamed Andine, who married Mariano Tevez, sixth Josefa, nicknamed Pippi, who married to Valdolaya, and seven Concepcion, nicknamed Concep, who married Benjamin Andrada. <laughs> Through hard work and business acumen, Salvador and Leoncia prospered. Salvador became a midfielder, a merchant importing wine from Spain and other goods. It is said he was also an impresario of sorts, staging good fights in the league and dumb plaza. As they became prosperous enough, Salvador longed to return to Spain. The story was told that Salvador and Leoncia packed all their wealth and belongings to set sail to Spain when bandits attacked them on their way somewhere in Nidao and took all their belongings. What a twist of faith! For when the Yusila Paoli of Puyo Valix Espana walao na kitang tanan din ni Karon! As faith would have it, Salvador, the father of all youths for a genius in the Ligan, died of cholera in 1903. Ranging the young family and Lola Ama into a time of hardships and penury. It was not long, however, through the values of perseverance and hard work, education and good marriages, that the 
children were set toward the direction of prosperity and eminence, not only in the end, but in the national states as well. Following are the seven children of Salvador and Yencia, who now compose the new star. First offspring, Victor Luz. Victor, the firstborn, was said to be a friendly, fun-loving man who enjoyed constant company of friends. He was good-looking too. One account says the family operated a lumber yard in Linamon, land of the Lotte, and Victor used to manage this until he died of pneumonia in 1935. He married twice, first to Sotora Sotera Abitona, then to Teodora Leonard. Among his children was Father Victor Hughes, who entered the order of the Augustinian Recollects and became the first Filipino to become provincial vicar of the order of Recollects, covering China, Guam, and the Philippines. He was also president of Colegio de San Jose Recollects of Cebu and president of San Sebastian College in Manila. Another son, her little youth, became a world-class chess referee. Some of the descendants of Victor Lutz are Perfecto Jun Lutz Areva Jr., who became a priest and is now assigned to Papua New Guinea. Enrico Lutz, a noted sculptor in Cabello Loro. Enrico Lutz established EU9 WPC and is multi awarded in international radio amateur contests and forum. Chico News, Program Director of Racing, Francis Xavier Community Rehab and Treatment Center. Engineer Enrique Ramon Guerrero, recipient of Savior Award, being an embodiment of highest desperate ideals, and the Philippine Airlines President Award for exemplary service. He died in life as a general patient. Passenger aircraft. Dr. Augustus Guerrero, the first to scale Mount Mayongo, is greater. A great grandson, Victor Bruce Maratas News, was the national junior chess champion in 1997. The family names included in the victorious France of the Lux clan are Adeba, Aperal, Guerrero, and Second offspring, Isabel Bobby Hughes. Isabel was the eldest daughter of Salvador and Leoncia, and was thus like a second mother to her younger siblings. Isabel Lola Bobby married the London Vanillius Lolo Leon Cirilo Vanillius. Isabel Village in Palao is named after Lola Bobby. The Vanillises were among the biggest landowners at the time, and Cirilo Vanillius was therefore a big help to his brothers in law who wanted to acquire lands. The Vanillius Little Vanillius family produced several high officials in government. His eldest, Laurentino Vanillius, was the last congressman of the undivided Lanao and first congressman of Lanao del Norte. He authored the division of Lanao into two provinces. Mariano Nano Perilles was elected mayor of Ligan in 1956 and was responsible for the construction of the present-day Ligan City Hall, the Palau Public Market, and the Victoria Pilius Memorial Hospital. He was also a delegate to the 1971 Constitutional Convention, a member of the Regional Legislative Assembly, and congressman for nine years. His son-in-law of Isabel Estirino, Lindo Ovas, 
was only a letter in Barangay Captain in Manila. He was a state movie and television actor and product endorser. This tradition of public service was handed down to the third generation Padillas. The eldest son of Nano Padillas, Benvenito Benny Padillas, was a city councillor of Ligan and a national officer of the Philippine JC and the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Alipio Tikwang Padillas, third son of Nano, also served three terms as congressman. Another of Nano's son, Oscar Oski Padillas, is currently an associate justice in the Court of Appeals. Another grandson of Lola Baki, Indian Q. Pueto, was a commissioner in the Human Rights Commission and an executive labor arbiter in the National Labor Relations Commission. Q's brother, Eduardo Eddie Padillas Pueto, recently retired as chief prosecutor in Ligan. Another grandson is son of Congressman Laurentino Dino Padillas, attorney Franco Padillas, who was formerly city administrator. The third generation youth Padillas also include successful businessmen and professionals like René Stuka, Gerdo Savio, Kisoka, Pinakura, Rey, Janana Senyo, Nalaminsa, Manasampol, and Lourdes Manilias of Chicken and Tiratihan, who is also a finance official of the Department of Public Works and Highways. The Youth Manilias plan also includes bankers and doctors in their ranks. The bill The family names that are included in the Youth Padillas Plan of the Youth Plan are Sosa, Abragan, Rueco, Peñaranda, and Lugar del Rosario, Vicenta, Tuano, and Chicoba. Third offspring, Gregorio Tabora Luz. The third offspring of Salvador and Leonza was Gregorio Ortundo his siblings, and Loro Gorio, his grandchildren. In life, Loro Gorio was a quiet and unassuming man who chose to remain in the background. Through his hard work and his frugal ways, he eventually acquired large tracts of land, including 60 hectares in the heart of Palapo and 400 hectares in Bikilaan. As one of the first public school teachers during the American period, he met and married Juana Apu, also a teacher famously called Maestra Juana, who died during the war. They had eight children. Toro Corio was a generous man, a known philanthropist who shared his wealth with fellow Filipinos. An anecdote was told by way of exaggeration that at that time, half of Iligan owed him either money or favors of some kind. He gave as donations the site of the present city hall, the Don Victorio Luz Memorial Hospital, the Don Juan Actor Luz Elementary School, the Jal Village in Zone 4, Baja Isilunan, and others. After he became a widower for many years, Lolo Gorio married Mauricia Balvin, with whom he had six more children. The Akubius family produced its own share of public servants. The eldest son of Lolo Gorio, pacificador Lolo Rios, became a judge in provincial fiscal of the San Jose Vice Mayor and later Mayor of Lima City. Gregorio's son-in-law, Antonio Noning Bartolome, who married Gilling Luz Bartolome, was appointed Governor of Misamis Oriental, a provincial member of the Norte Norte and City Councilor of Lima. Another son 
He gave the name Tarzan because of his passionate and press campaign speeches. Lord of Adon was also a good businessman. He went into the hotel business, ventured into logging with his brother Gregorio and brother-in-law Benjamin and brother, and started agricultural plantations. Several members of the Altea Youth family followed in the footsteps of Lord of Adon to become public servants. San Romeo, Romeo Youth served as a board member in the provincial board of Lana del Norte. Another son, Attorney Alfredo Youth, served for a long time as city assessor of the Ligan City. A grandson, Big Big Youth, served as Barangay Captain of Barangay Turu. Another grandson, Renelas Marias, served as Barangay Kagawan, also Barangay Turu. The son-in-law of Loro Adon, Engineer Luciano Alejo, was the city engineer of Iligan for some time and also served as city councilor. The son, Engineer Gino Alejo, is the ranking official of the city engineer's office. Another son-in-law of Salvador T. Luz, the Minador Padilla, was a fiscal. Fiscal Padilla's son, Attorney Arthur Alto Padilla, is Secretary of the Salvadorian Palizzo. The daughters of Salvador and Corrigue Youths were in their youth known far and wide for their striking duty, and they married into prominent families such as the Padilla, Las Marias, Uri, and Alejo families. Many of the youth's Kamakit members, as they are also called because many of their ancestral houses are in Kamakit, are prominent professionals and businessmen. The family owns the venerable and storied where we are now sitting, Maria Cristina Hotel. The children of Victorio, Toyong, and Magdalena, Nenang Uy, now run Dr. Uy Hospital. One of their family units, the family of Ma and Joji Valdez, has five doctors in their immediate family alone. One grandson of Lolo Adon, Evan Lutz, is vice president for branches of the United Coconut Planters Fund. The family names included in the Salvador P. Lutz branch of the Lutz clan are Uri, Padilla, Las Marias, and Alejo. Now we go to the fifth offspring, Rosa Luz. According to her daughter, Tita Luz Villa, Lola, Lola Rosa was a quiet woman, a home body. How she met Mariano Tevez or Lolo Anoy to grandchildren, we have no clear information. But he was a Tevez of the prominent Tevez clan of Tumaguete, and they got married to Ligan in 1918. He was probably a postmaster in Ligan at the time he met Rosa Luz, for he was postmaster, postmaster in Cebu by 1931, where daughter Luz, Luz Tevez, now Mrs. Luz Mira, was born. It is probable that Mariano Tevez was, like Ronaldo Laya, trained by the Americans in communications as both were proficient in communicating in Morse code and would communicate with each other through that means of communication. The family stayed part of the time in Ligan and part of the time in Cebu and in Dumaguete after World War II. Most of the children of Lolo Anoy Tevez and Lola Rosa eventually migrated to the United States and this is why of the Tevez branch of the youth clan, only Tita Luz and Vito Paz Mia and family were left in the union. Tevez children abroad did well. Tita Lin married a career diplomat, Albert Augusta, who was consul of the Philippine Embassy in Japan. 
we live in Japan for quite some time. Ita Miting de Vera produced a grandson, Jaime de Vera Olsman, a young scientist who recently received a prestigious U.S. Presidential Early Career Award for scientists and engineers. And of course, there's Ita Luz and the late Kito Pops, two, two prominent figures in the Yemen. Ita Luz for her religious activities and Kito Pops for his business and civic activities, such as being district governor of Rotary International. The site of the Carmen Barangay Hall was donated by Luz and Pops in India. The family names included in the youth status grant of the youth clan Armenia, Bautista, and Devera. Karun matukita sa ikaunong, Josepa Piping Luz. The second to the youngest offspring of the first of our youth in young Chetabora, named Josepa, or Piping family and friends was the local beauty queen. She was a striking beauty and her photograph was eventually painted by the famous painter Fernando Amorzol. Stories about her describe her as having a strong personality. No wonder that an Ilocano who worked for the Bureau of Telecommunications Department of Commerce by the name of Ubal Ulaya fell in love with and eventually married her. Waldo was apparently considered a capable public servant by the American colonial government and later by the Commonwealth government. Because from the Department of Commerce, he was appointed treasurer in various provinces in Pagsayas and Mindanao. He was also appointed governor of Sulu for some of his nephews, like Frodo Lutz, Tino, and Nano Cadillas, he stayed with him. There was even a time when President Irino, who was an Ilocano like Ubaldo, was said to have considered appointing him as his Secretary of Finance, if not for the objections of his wife, Pippin, who did not want him to spend time in Mojo. Ubaldo managed his finances well for he started buying lands and properties in the Yigan. His biggest purchases were the lands covering most of the Palaong market area from Ultra Theater up to San Miguel Village, covering around 70 hectares and his Pindugaman farm covering around 300 hectares. Elias, just like the other branches of the Jews' clan, also shared their, their wealth with the people of the Ligan. The site of the present-day Palau market was donated by them. So also was the Bagulaya Elementary School site, as well as the present world of Bagulaya was provincial fiscal of Lano del Norte and past district governor of Rotary International. Jose Maria Jojo Bosa was an assemblyman of the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, or arm, and a successful businessman. And if I make my dad a very successful musician. The family names included in the youth line of brands of the youth clan are Bosa and Villanueva. The seventh and last offspring, Concepcion, Lola Concept. The youngest of the seven children of the first time of her youth and Yonsha Wisma was only three years old when her father, the original Salvador Luis, died of cholera in 1903. Her name was Concepcion. Her father's death plunged the family into a period of critical peace. In the midst of this conception or concept, grew to be a beautiful Spanish mestiza. Like her older sisters, in those days, Dalsalan or Marawi used to be the center of American military and civil administration in Mindanao, and thus was also the center 
of Dr. Lai in London. On set, he used to go up to the sala to visit her older sister, Vipin Laya, who had a residence there. There she met and fell in love with a ramrod, straight, soft-spoken captain in the U.S. Army by the name of Benjamin Andrada. He was an Ilongo, he was an Ilongo from Capiz, who at age 14 went to the United States and rolled back and graduated from the prestigious Annapolis Military Academy. Concepcion and Benjamin got married and bore four children. Felicitas, Filin, Tetalvero, Franklin and Rada, Norberto who died in infancy, and Alicia Alice Tan. Aside from being a soldier, Benjamin and Rada was a keen businessman. He invested together with brothers-in-law by himself in many business ventures the biggest of which was in Lagin. His closest of fellow Milongo, President Manuel Rojas, probably gave him an edge in securing a vast Lagin concession that extended all the way to Agusa. He also secured a transportation franchise and started one of the earliest bus companies in Mindanao, the Maria Cristina Bus Company. He also put up the St. Michael Hospital, constructed the Andrada Housing Compound in Mariahai, and established the Lanao Painting Press. He also had a cattle ranch in Pignon, fish mines in Lala, and mining operations in Pagayan. His legacy also includes the Andrada Heights subdivision in Mangas. In Mangas. Benjamin Andrada's business and social prominence was such that the Philippine presidents and high officials would crack by his beautiful residence by the Ligan River when they visited the Ligan. Concepcion herself was also a business-minded woman. She took particular interest in real poverty and was the one who took care of her housing projects and commercial buildings. She was said to be particularly methodical in budgeting, household finances, putting in separate envelopes sums of money for various expenses. A son-in-law of Concepcion and Benjamin, Colonel Philip Petalvero, distinguished himself as one of the organizers of the guerrilla resistance movement in Mindanao, for which he was awarded the U.S. Congressional Medal of Honor. He was among the first graduates of the Philippine Military Academy class for A daughter, Alessandra Camparo E. Tan, was president of the prestigious Philippine Women's Club Association for four years. A granddaughter, Susan Petalvero Rosas, has distinguished herself as an artist of note in Manila. The recently departed Rene Tan was also a good man and his character businessman. Included in the Youth and Brother Brand, the Youth Brand, are the Petal Vero and the Tan and the Tano families. Together, the seven offsprings of the exiled Spanish warrior Salvador and his talent groups and the native Filipino Georgia Tahora youths formed a tightly knit gun that became the dominant driver of the Ligan's economy, social life, and politics. It still wields formidable influence today and will climb on to greater heights if its younger generations will fully realize that they have a glorious past and strive to rekindle and sustain the unity, unity that probably the dominance. Viva! Formabil Mabui! A new plan!